Indian lander has detected probable seismic activity on the moon. A device measuring seismic activity mounted on the Indian Vikram lander detected movement under the lunar surface. The Indian Space Research Organization admitted in a statement that the recorded event appeared to be natural. If these suspicions are confirmed, the data could give scientists a rare insight into the interior of our natural satellite. On August 23, the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, announced the successful landing of the Vikram lander near the little explored south pole of the moon. India thus went down in history as the first country to land on the South Pole of the Silver Globe and the fourth country to land an intact lander on the surface of our natural satellite. After the USA, the USSR, Russia and China. Shortly after landing, the Prugyan rover descended from Vikram's bowels to the lunar surface. Research had to start quickly because the entire mission was planned for two weeks, or one lunar day. During this time, he managed to measure the temperature at the south pole of our natural satellite and analyze the composition of the lunar regolith. Tests showed the presence of sulfur and a number of other elements. The mission also recorded other data that is currently being analyzed. After performing a series of tests, the rover was put into sleep mode. The Prugyan rover has been put into sleep mode but with its batteries charged and its receiver on. We hope to wake up successfully when the next set of tasks arises. Otherwise, Prugyan will remain there forever as India's Lunar Ambassador, ISRO said. Perhaps Prugyan will wake up after a two-week nap. But the designers of the lander and rover fear that the electronics may not survive the extremely difficult conditions of the lunar night. The mission has been put to sleep. But the collected data is still being analyzed. A device called the Instrument for Lunar Seismic Activity, ILSA, was installed on board the Vikram lander. It is an extremely sensitive instrument for measuring seismic activity. The main goal of ILSA is to measure ground vibrations generated by natural seismic activity. Space debris hitting the surface of the silver globe, and even artificial events, such as vibrations caused by a moving rover. On August 26, the Isla instrument recorded, apparently natural. As ISRO called it in a statement, seismic activity. The source of this incident is currently being investigated. If the detected activity was indeed caused by movements beneath the moon's surface, this data could help researchers better understand the structure of our natural satellite. The best seismic data from the Moon was collected by the Apollo program in the late 1960s and 1970s. It is believed that earthquakes on the Moon are not caused by the movements of tectonic plates. As on Earth, because there are none. Instead, they most likely come from stresses resulting from tidal interactions. Earth's gravity puts constant stress on the moon.
It compresses and stretches it alternately, causing cracks and friction in the structures inside the silver globe. Perhaps the data recorded by the Vikram lander will tell us a little more about the internal structure of the Moon, ground vibrations and their impact on our natural satellite. The South Pole of the Moon is currently the hottest destination for space agencies of all countries. On August 21, the Russians attempted to land in this area with their Luna 25 mission. But due to loss of communication, the probe crashed on the lunar surface. The manned NASA Artemis 3 mission is also scheduled to go to this area. Ice on the Moon's South Pole, which was detected in previous studies, could be important for future human missions. It can be used by potential settlers as drinking water and as material from which rocket fuel will be produced. Much of this ice is found in permanently shadowed craters that never receive sunlight. The lander and rover are part of the CHANDRAYAN-3 mission, which also has an orbiter orbiting the Moon. The lander is called Vikram, which means, Valor, in Sanskrit, and the rover is called Pragyan, which means, Wisdom, in Sanskrit. The name of the entire mission, Chandrayaan means lunar vehicle in Sanskrit. The Chandrayaan 3 mission is India's third attempt to reach the moon. The first CHANDRAYAN 1 mission was launched in 2008, but it was not expected to land. It consisted of an orbiter and an impactor and conducted the most detailed search for water ice on the Moon to date. She also made topographic maps of the surface of the silver globe. It lasted over a year and was an important stimulus for the Indian space program. The Chandrayaan-2 mission, which was launched in July 2019, consisted of three parts, an orbiter, a lander and a rover. The Vikram lander was to land near the Moon's south pole and launch the six-wheeled Pragyan rover to search for water and other minerals. Unfortunately, in the last phase of the flight, just before touching the surface of the silver globe, the controllers of the CHANDRAYAN-2 mission lost contact with the Vikram lander. A few months later, astronomers found the remains of Indian equipment. However, the CHANDRAYAN-2 mission was not a complete failure. The orbiter was not damaged and is still observing the lunar surface. It also provides communication for the rover and lander on the